but it's been a long road to 10K, you know. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I got four boxes of English One Piece card game set five to shrip them. Right, so in these videos, I don't know if you've ever been here before. If this is your first time, welcome. Thanks for coming to the Joku show too. Um, you know, I got into making YouTube videos just like kind of from a different game. I've talked about this. It's called the Marvel Contest. Marvel Contest of Champions. It was a phone game that I was really into when I was in dental school. But um, a buddy of mine, Dan Janik, brother of bless him one of the guys i went to school with kyle who's man kyle if you're watching this what up yeah oh 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 this looks like something shiny back here wait 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 a second wait a second what we got here gadatsu i put a lot of this guy i've been pulling a lot of this man anyway he came over and he showed me uh leon hart's youtube channel i don't know if you have ever seen leon hart but leon hart opens pokemon cards i was like wait a second i opened so many dragon ball cards i used to open dragon ball and i was like why well, don't i just put a video on myself and start doing it. So I did, and um, it started going really well. Ooh, Luffy, just like that. People were really receptive to it. I was having a lot of fun doing it, and it just kind of snowballed, you know? And one of the things I thought about, this is kind of, I guess, I guess this video series, these four, these four boxes I'm dedicating to all the aspiring YouTubers out there, because I'm on my way trying to hit 10K. I may have hit it by now, by the time this video comes out, it's possible. Um, I am pretty close, but, it's been a long road to 10K, you know. Oh, ho, 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 yo. Manga Kid. Very cool. Sick. All right, so the last case was a manga law. This case is a manga kid. So I'd love to pull that manga Luffy. That's definitely the one I want the most. But very hyped to pull these mangas so far. And then, of course, a signature Oda Luffy is the one I'm really looking for. That's wild. Wow. Manga, just like that. Anyway, I was talking about getting 10K. And uh, this is, you know, it's been a long road. I've been doing this for a couple of years now. And there was a while where I was thinking, oh, this could be like a second career. But I'm a dentist. This is not like what I need to be doing, spending my time. But I do enjoy it. I really enjoy the community. I enjoy the feedback I get from people. I enjoy making friends. Um, I enjoy making cards. You know, I really like printing cards. I got Kaizo the Cards. It's my card printing company. I actually, I made a kid recently. I actually, you know, I'll show this one off. This is an upcoming card I made with HZ19. Um, this is going to be a limited release of this Star Foil variant. I also have a Warp Foil variant. This is the other kind of foil on there. So these will be coming out. I'll be releasing them randomly. You gotta follow the Instagram. That's when I post. I post, but every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. I think it is a card releases. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. So if you like Kaizoku cards, you wanna get some cool cards. A lot of those are serialized. The releases I do, so you can jump on there and get those. But for aspiring YouTubers out there, you know, like it's really unlikely that I think you make a career out of this. I think this is more like if you're passionate about it, you have fun with it. That's really, that's the reason to do this. Um, most of the people I know that make videos, even the, the people that do pretty well with it, um, it's not a real source of revenue. Like you still would have to work a second job. There's our dawn. And um, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time. Is there an alt art in here? No, Gucci. Um, so I think really, you know, understand, that's no, crazy. First box of this video manga art and the really good really really good wow let me keep that like that uh it's something that i think if you're passionate about it it's worth doing if you're not passionate about it don't do it if you're doing it like for the money if you're doing it just to like flex and stuff i don't think you're gonna have a good time um there's a chance you might you might make a video like at the right time right place at the right time and just like your channel might smash it's totally possible but especially with cards like trading cards not really the space there's not really such an insanely huge community with it it's just um it's like uh i don't know i think it's more for fun so i think if you do it for fun you approach it and have fun with it you'll have a much better time uh, i made that realization relatively early on and i think once i realized that and i started focusing more on you know i want to do this at a pace that's manageable for me I try and release one video a week. I do a lot of shorts because I feel like it's a good way to show off the cards that I make. 
I really like showcasing my cards. So I think uh, doing the shorts are fun. And then I, you know, I post them on Instagram. So I think sometimes when I post a reel on Instagram, I'll think, oh, maybe I'll throw one up on YouTube. So you guys can see the cards I'm making. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I wonder, I don't know if you can get a signed Oda Luffy and a manga in a, in a case. That would be cool. I feel like with English, there's a chance. I feel like with Japanese, unlikely. But I think with English, there may be a chance. There should be at least an alt art in here. There we go. Law. Yo, I love this alt art. This is Akira Agawa. This is the guy that did uh, the Zoro alt art. I just farted. He also did the Shanks in set six, and he did the Luffy in set two. I think he did something in set three also. I can't remember what exactly though, but this art, I think this is one of possibly the coolest alt art in the set of the like, you know, drawn, not what Oda drew kind of alt arts, which there's a fair amount of. But yeah, I think when you play for fun, you already won. So really trying to pace yourself for Becca. Nice, that should be it for this box. Really trying to pace yourself and understand like what you want out of this instead of making it something that you're just like chasing, you know, some goal. Don't don't really set that many goals. Just like do what's manageable for you. If you can do a video a week, if you do multiple a week, go for it. If you do one every couple of weeks, like whatever it is, it's got to be fun for you. Because if it isn't fun for you, like you should, probably shouldn't be doing it. I don't think YouTube is really the place to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be a big YouTube star and make a bunch of money. It's possible. I'm not saying it's impossible. But the numbers don't work in your favor. And if you are gonna do it, it takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work, a lot of sweat, a lot of time. It helps to know a lot. I was lucky to meet this really cool guy, um, Robert, DJ Miles. You should check him out if you haven't checked out his channel already. I met him in Chicago, or no, Orlando, we were playing cards, and um, he gave me some really helpful tidbits on like stuff about um, you know making content, things to focus on, and how to you know I don't know if you notice in my videos now like I have a pretty short intro, it's like a second half a second intro or something, and then I also don't really talk too much at the beginning of the video. Bless him. I used to talk a lot. I used to give like whole intro, talk about stuff I'm doing, blah blah blah. I just kind of get into it. I'm assuming that's kind of what people want. He was saying that is so. That's what I do. I follow Robert the YouTube God's advice. And it's been good. My channel's actually been growing a lot more since I've been speeding up my videos. And, you know, I think there's a balance of doing what you want to do and doing what people want also. Like, I am doing this for my own fun. But I also want to entertain everybody watching this. I don't want this to be boring stuff. I want you to have a good time. Check it out. Maybe learn a joke or get some inspiration for something. But for all of you YouTubers out there, Betty, Batty Betty. That's the first Betty we pulled. Very cool. Look at where her tie is. Really nice. Really nice looking card. She's got her glasses on, so checking it out. Yeah, check that out. Everybody follow me. Follow Betty, one, two, three. Bay, low Betty. I still haven't seen a Zoro. I would love to see a Zoro altar. The Zoro altar in this set is sick. Very sick. But yeah, I think, uh, you know, do what's right for you. But also, figure out what's fun and entertaining. And like, connect with your community. Respond to the comments. I really try and respond to comments as much as I can. Now that I manage so many different avenues of communication, it's kind of hard to stay on top of my comments. So I jump in and try and get to them as much as I can. I know, I apologize, I've been not as good about it lately as I usually am. But I do appreciate comments, I appreciate communicating with people, I love hearing your feedback, I love hearing about what you like, what you don't like also, that helps me. I think having feedback on what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy. Yo, Koala, that's the two red alt arts from the Betty archetype. Very cool, I don't think I pulled any of these in Japanese actually. So it should be a Luffy in here. I'm guessing it's going to be Luffy. It's going to be a secret. It's going to be a secret in one of these packs. My guess is that it's Gear 5 Luffy. I feel about ready to pull a Gear 5. Oh, not there. It might be in the Blessing. There's a reasonable chance. There's a 20% chance that it's in the Blessing. 
25% chance that it's in the blossom. 33% chance that it's in the blossom. 50% chance that it's in the blossom. And this would make it a, no. It's not 100% chance it's in the blossom and it's also 100% chance that it's not Luffy. Just like that. One more box, but I still gotta open the blossom. Trip them. Some sort of this is my dome. Kind of dome. Very, very hype. All right, my face cam died, but my hands are still here. So I just have one box left. I kind of thought that I was going to lose that manga rare pull. But it's just going to be my hands here. And, you know, for this whole box, I'll just give a dental tooth tip. Since I won't show my face again. My dental tooth tip is going to be about mouthwash. A lot of people have questions about mouthwash. What kind of mouthwash do I use? Is mouthwash any good? And my answer is, yeah, you know, it can kind of be good. But the thing you want to stay away from is you want to avoid mouthwash with uh, dye in it. So anything that's like a color that has food dye in it, and that means that it can stain your teeth. So avoid stuff with dyes in it. I would say if you can get something with fluoride in it, it's really great. The one that I recommend is called Listerine Naturals because it doesn't have any dye in it and uh, it doesn't have alcohol also because the alcohol can dry your mouth out. So the fluoride will strengthen your teeth while you get that fresh minty feeling that everybody loves from mouthwash and you're not drying your mouth tissues out with the uh, alcohol that's in a lot of uh, mouthwashes. And a lot of mouthwashes, really, the only reason they put dye in them is to, you know, sell it because it looks good. It's like, oh, this is colored. I want to I swish on that. But really, it just kind of stains your teeth. I actually, when I was in dental school, they challenged us. Oh, yeah. Talk about that as a challenge. This is a first alt art secret Gear 5 Luffy. Yes. I love this card. This is probably my favorite card in the set outside of the signed. Oda signature. Very, very hyped to pull this. I just love Joy Boy. I love Gear 5. What can I say? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Gear 5 simp. I'm a simple man with the needs for G5 Luffy. I love printing Luffy and I love printing Yamato. And how lucky am I to set 5 and set 6 to all these cool Luffy and Yamato cards in them? Well, I guess that 6 just really has the leader, but... Altar Yamato leader is hyped to pull. Oh, so it looks like something shiny in here. What's in here? Rebecca. Um, yeah, they challenged us in dental school to introduce a new dentifrice into our dental routine. Dentifrice is something that you use to uh, clean your teeth. So I tried using Listerine. I wasn't a mouthwash user. And I don't know if you all know this, but I actually I practiced dentistry with my mom. So I went home from my first quarter of dental school. I was using some purple Listerine mouthwash over there, Dawn. and uh, she was like, dude, what did you do? What have you been doing? Like, your teeth are, like, green. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? I was like, I'm taking such good care of them. I even started using this, like, mouthwash. Oh, double Luffy box. Yata. There could be, could you imagine if there was a, uh, a signed Oda Luffy in here? How cool would that be? How insanely cool triple Luffy threat box while I'm talking about dental hygiene you can't even see my face it would be hyped if I pulled it but it's just a baby five babby five and a couple more packs but yeah so basically uh you know took the challenge and I didn't know exactly what I was doing I ended up doing something that stained my teeth a bunch so I'd recommend staying away from dyed mouthwashes that's the video that was crazy we got the gear five Luffy and the kid manga art in one box absolutely wild very cool all right we'll be back to finish off the last four of these boxes two of them are going to have little luffy's in them hopefully one of them is a signature i don't know if that can work in a case with a manga art thanks for coming by and i'll see y'all next time